This video is going to look at the attributes of some different two-dimensional figures. So when we talk about attributes, it's ways that we can describe figures. So we're going to start by looking at some quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides and four vertices. So a vertex is the angle or where two of the sides meet. You can also think about it as the corners. And the sides are the edges of the figure. So a quadrilateral has four sides and four vertices. That also means that it has four angles. So we're going to look at the names of some different quadrilaterals and then whether or not they have parallel sides, sides of equal length, or right angles. So the first one is a trapezoid. And when we look at this trapezoid, we can see that the top line and the bottom line are parallel but the right and the left are not. If I were to continue these lines, they're eventually going to intersect. So a trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. In this picture, the left and the right are equal length. So we can say that it has one pair of sides that are of equal length but it doesn't always have a pair of sides of equal length. It just depends on what the trapezoid looks like. And a trapezoid has zero right angles. So we are going to have acute angles and obtuse angles. A parallelogram, so as you see in the name of the figure, you see the word parallel. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. So the top and the bottom are parallel and the left and the right are parallel. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. And this one also has two pairs of sides of equal length. So the top and the bottom are the same length and the left and the right are the same. And this parallelogram has zero right angles. But again, it's going to depend on what the picture looks like. The main thing about a parallelogram is that it has to have two pairs of parallel sides. A rhombus has, also has to have two pairs of parallel sides. But what makes a rhombus special is it has to have four equal sides. So it's like a square in that all the sides are equal. But a rhombus does not have to have any right angles. So in this picture we have zero right angles. The rectangle has two pairs of parallel sides, but it doesn't have to have all sides the same length. So in this one the top and the bottom are the same and the left and the right are equal. So it has two pairs. A rectangle has to have four right angles. So all four corners are right angles. And the last one is a square, and we know that a square has four sides that are equal length. It also has to have two pairs of parallel sides. And it has to have four right angles. So you're going to be classifying some different figures and trying to figure out all the ways we can name them. So a square is also a rectangle, and it's also a rhombus, and it's also a parallelogram. So it gets to have lots of different names because it has all of those characteristics, all of those attributes. Okay, next we're going to look at some triangles and some different types of triangles. So to review, triangles are polygons with three sides and three angles. And you name a triangle by the vertices. So on this one, we would call this triangle, triangle ABC or CBA or BCA. But we would just name it using those three letters that we see there. So there's three types of triangles we're going to talk about. Acute, obtuse, and right. 
So you may notice that these have the same names as the angles we learned about earlier. So an acute triangle is a triangle with three acute angles. So all three angles are acute. So if we look at each one of these angles, they are an acute angle. Sometimes it helps if you turn your picture of your shape and look at it from a different direction. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle. So, acute triangle has to have all the angles acute. An obtuse triangle will just have one angle that's obtuse, and the other two angles are going to be acute. Our last one is a right triangle, and a right triangle has one right angle. So here's our right angle. The other two angles are going to be acute.